Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a mono blue artifact vehicle deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring four copies of the new Hercule Master Wizard, 3 mana, 2 4 legendary human wizard advisor, and it's got a pretty strange ability, but it boils down to, at least in this deck, if we cast a non creature artifact, then end of turn we get to take a look at the top 5 cards of our library to reveal an artifact card and put it into our hand. And we're playing with a ton of vehicles, which all count as non creature artifact so they will all enable Hercule and then end of turn we can even find some artifact creatures such as search engine or automated artificer to put into our hand so Hercule is an awesome card draw engine in a vehicle focused deck and then we've got four copies of Surge Engine, another new addition from the Brothers War. Two mana, three two, starts out as a defender, can activate it for single blue, and then it loses its defender and cannot be blocked, so it turns into an unblockable creature. Then for two and a blue, it turns into a five four, that's still unblockable. And then eventually for six mana, we can activate it to draw three cards, can only use that ability once. So Surge Engine is great, especially against counter spell heavy decks that may not have a way to counter it early on, and then it can just sit in play and turn into a win condition that eventually also draws three cards but it's just a nice way to crew our vehicles as well even if it's still a defender as it has three power for just two mana and then we can also potentially play a surge engine after playing a might stone and weak stone and even if we don't have urza in this deck it's still very good as it can come into play either draw two cards or give a creature minus five minus five until end of turn giving this mono blue deck some removal which is always appreciated and then it can tap for double colorless that cannot be spent to cast non-artifact spells but we can still cast our artifacts with it and activate abilities, which is most of our deck anyways. So this will be a great addition to this mono blue deck. And as a non-creature artifact, it will enable Hercule, and we can also find it in the first place. And then the other removal spell in the deck is Surge Hacker Mech, a 4-mana vehicle. That's a 5-5 five five with menace with a crew cost of 4. And when it enters battlefield, it deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles we control to a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. So by itself, it can deal 2 damage, but we've got a ton of extra vehicles in this deck, so it can can take out even larger creatures from the opponent. And a mono blue deck having access to these 8 removal spells is great, since we've got a ton of card draw to make sure we can find them and stay alive and win the late game, so we just need a bit of interaction to get there in the first place. And then looking throughout the rest of our deck, at 1 mana we've got a full set of Moonsnare Prototype. A 1 mana artifact can tap alongside an untapped artifact or creature we control to make colorless mana. So we can play it early and then maybe double spell on turn 3 already after playing a 2 mana artifact. So that can speed things up. And then later in the game we can channel it for 5 mana, even at instant speed. And then the owner of target and online permanent will put it on the top or bottom of their library. So it gives us access to a bit more removal there as well. And then at 2 mana, besides Surge Engine, we've got the full set of Automated Artificer, a 1-3, that can tap for Colorless, that we can spend only to activate an ability or cast an artifact spell. So it's very similar to the Power Stone tokens in what it can and cannot do, but the Power Stone tokens have the additional utility of letting us pay for ward costs, for instance. So if the opponent has a Tolarian Terror, we can play Might Stone and then use that 2 Colorless mana that it provides to pay for the ward, whereas the Artificer won't be able to pay for that specifically. And then we've got a bunch of vehicles, of course, starting with the Reckoner Bankbuster as another great card draw engine. Can pay two mana to draw a card, eventually makes a pilot and treasure token, which will further help us crew our vehicles to start killing the opponent. And then an unlicensed hearse, as we've seen in the mono red control deck, can be very useful against the mono blue haughty gin decks, as it can keep the opponent's haughty gin and tolerian terror in check, but plenty of other graveyard synergies throughout standard, and of course a vehicle that fits perfectly in this deck. And then four copies of the mobilizer mech, which is a 3-4 flyer with a crew cost of 3, and then when the mech becomes crewed, up to one other target vehicle we control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn, so that's a great way to enable our search hacker mech, since the crew cost of 4 is pretty steep, so instead we can simply activate it for free thanks to the Mobilizer mech. Now do keep in mind the Mobilizer only works if we actually crew it, so if we turn it on using, let's say, the mech hanger, which is in our mana base, and turn it into a creature that way, then it doesn't count as being crewed, so then we don't get that free extra crew from the mech, but uh, that's also a nice way to potentially crew our search hacker in the late game if we don't have a ton of creatures in play. Simply pay 3 mana, tap our mech hanger, and then turn this into a 5-5 with menace. 
And then we also have two copies of the Celestis as another ramp artifact. Can maybe set up a turn four Mindstone and Weakstone. So we're off to a quick start. And then the additional life gain and card selection will also come in handy. I've also tried out Relic of Legends, as we can maybe use Hercule to tap for mana that way as well. But I've eventually replaced it with a cheaper Moonsnare prototype, which also works quite similarly, but can set up those turn three play double two drop starts, which is much more important. So you might see a few copies of Relic of Legends throughout some of the games as I was experimenting with it. And then we also have some neat tools in our mana base besides Mech Hanger to animate our creatures. We also have two copies of Mishra's Foundry, another benefit of being a monocolor deck, can turn it into a 2-2 creature, can also help us crew our vehicles, especially in combination with a one-powered artificer, can crew a card like Bankbuster, for instance, or the Mobilizer Mech, which can then enable our Search Hacker Mech to also attack our block. And then we've got one Soaring City as additional utility and 17 basic islands. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. And while we could use some cheaper ramp cards, I think it's still a keep. Could play a Bank Buster and then attack for 4 damage after playing a Surge Engine. Or we could play a Surge Engine and start leveling it up. Opponent with a lackey. Mono blue so far, stowaway, so they've got a bit of an unblockable theme. Hercule the draw. Alright, I'll play Surge Engine now. That way we keep more non creature artifacts in hand to enable Hercule. Malevolent Hermits. Can counter non creature spells, so that could be a problem. And then Hercule just looks at whether or not we cast those spells. So even if they counter, we'll still get the Hercule trigger. Opponent could be putting some auras on their stowaway to draw extra cards. Next turn, we could already go for Surge Hacker, kind of forced issue on Malevolent Hermits. And then hopefully Mightstone and Tweakstone on the following turn. Still away and discards a Lantern Bearer. So that can give the Catgeist flying next turn. So we could also just play double Mobilizer mech to have a flying blocker. I think I like that more. Maybe make them use the Hermit anyways. And still get a mech in play. Opponent lets it slide. Alright, so now I'll maybe go for a Bank Buster to diversify. See if they want to counter that one instead. They do. That's okay. Still get our Hercule trigger. And find a Surge Hacker mech. So we've got three removal spells in hand, basically. And a flying blocker to stop the Catgeist. Opponent makes a 2-2 flyer that draws a card when it hits us. And a disruptor, fair enough, so that can tap our mobilizer mech now. So we won't be able to stop the Catgeist this turn at least. So our opponent gets to see two fresh cards. Discarding the Castigator, so plenty of Disturb Synergy. And uh, how about we play Mightstone, killing the Stowaway. And then I guess that's it for this turn, since we don't have a way to spend the two Colorless. Or we can play a Surge Hacker and still level up Surge Engine, that's maybe more efficient. And then look for something to cast of the Colorless mana. And uh, between Catgeist and Stowaway, we can block the Catgeist. Stowaway, we cannot. And otherwise, our opponent gets to put the Aura on the Stowaway next turn. So we'll pass. Hercule finds Unlicensed Hearse. Seems pretty good in this matchup. And then I can still level the Surge Engine. Opponent's got another Disruptor, so that's going to tap Mobilizer again. 
Might still be worth crewing just to turn on Surge Hacker. Okay. And then next turn we'll be able to not only take out Catgeist, but also exile a bunch of stuff from the opponent's graveyard. Aha, uh -huh, Thousand Faced Shadow Ninjutsu. So that can pick up Disruptor to tap down our flyer again. And make a copy of Catgeist, which will draw an extra card. Okay, so our opponent's deck is doing some cool things as well here. And another lackey. Okay, let's level up Surge Engine. And we've got a few cat guys to deal with here. So play Mightstone. Kill cat guys. Play Hearse. And I'll just get rid of them now. Okay. And then pass it back. Finding another Might Stone and Weak Stone. Or do we want a second Surge Engine? Guess I'll take the Engine since we have another Surge Hacker for removal. So Disruptor can tap down our Flyer again. That's okay. I think I still crew it to turn on Surge Hacker. And then we'll take two in the air. But we can block the cat guys on the ground at least. Another ninjutsu perhaps? Yep. Moon Circuit Hacker to draw. And then they can still ninjutsu the Thousand Faced Shadow. And another hacker. Alright, so our opponent gets it is for 5, down to 5. Draw a bunch more. And they're going wide with a lot of small expendable creatures. So a search hacker is going to struggle to keep up. Another lackey. Those can also start attacking and become unblockable creatures. Although we can exile them with the hearse at least. Okay. So how much mana are we working with? 5, 6, 7... So I probably want to play another Surge Hacker. And that can kill maybe a Thousand Faced Shadow. And then play another Mobilizer mech. So we have more Flying Blockers. And then the mech can crew additional creatures as well, so we should have enough on defense. And Hercule finds another Mobilizer. So we're cutting it close here in terms of blockers versus the opponent's attackers. Network Disruptor. What's it going to tap down? It's going to tap down a Mobilizer if that happens. And our opponent attacks all out. So we'll crew. And then we can go to blocks. So this has us taking four. Opponent doesn't get to draw. And we'll exile Hermit as well here. And another Pixie as a flyer. So we just want to present as many blockers as possible. Another Mobilizer will help. And I could play a replacement Mightstone if I'd like. So play Mightstone, play Surge Engine, play Mobilizer. Mm 
no attacks. Oracle finds a relic. A lantern bear is fine. And yeah, we can block the lackey and exile it before the opponent gets a chance to bring it back. Level up search engine and untap. Search hacker is good. So, can play that. Killing a disruptor. Maybe add a Celestis to start gaining some life back. Not sure if we can start attacking yet. Might be a little precarious. In case our opponent finds another Disruptor to tap a Flyer down. But maybe next turn we can turn the corner. Especially if we gain some life back. Oracle finds another Mobilizer. Okay, so we've got all four here. We might also be able to present Lethal in one big turn once we level up both Surge Engines. Opponent sends in both lackeys. Full crew. Turn on search hacker. Crew. Turn on another mobilizer, perhaps. Go to blocks. And then make sure we're in full control so we can exile everything before the opponent gets a chance to get them back. And the lantern's lift is fine. Okay. Opponent's on empty. And pretty sure we can attack for lethal here, Soaring City giving us additional interaction as well. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Hand seems reasonable. Prototype into maybe turn to Bankbuster, can set up a turn 3, Surge Hacker. Hanger can animate our vehicles as well, so we don't even need a creature to uh, animate them. Can also play a Surge Engine now. Also, as a reminder, if you haven't seen my video on the official MTG Arena YouTube channel, there will be a link in the description as well as in the title card here that you can check out. So make sure to leave a comment if you would like to see a specific deck in future episodes. Well, Search Hacker seems nice here. Take out Assembler before it picks up a counter. With a land we can play Mightstone, if not maybe play Bankbuster Draw. And there's a Siege Veteran. Gets a counter. So if I play Bankbuster, I can do a Crew Chain to attack for 5. Um, alternatively, I can play both of my vehicles out, or Surge Engine plus Bankbuster. And then we can still do the Crew Chain here to animate... Search Hacker Mech. And hit for 5. Next or maybe animate both Search Engines. To hit for 6 unblockable. And their opponent's got a Combat Thresher. Definitely benefits from a plus 1 counter from the Siege Veteran. And a Teething Wormlet. Okay. So take 3. Line's good. So we could take out Siege Veteran now if we'd like. And then with the remaining mana I can still draw with Bankbuster. Or we can be more aggressive. And try and attack with our creatures instead. Taking out Siege Veterans probably for the best. And then can I tap a Surge Engine. Kill Veteran. And then 
pass with a plan of drawing with a bankbuster as opposed to attacking with Surge Hacker mech. Dissidents make sense. Can put plus one counters on their creatures as well and another comma Thresher. So Wormlet gets a counter, so does Thresher, presumably. 3-3 three, three, double strike. Can still trade for it. Using Bankbuster, so our opponent's gonna stay back. And another Surge Hacker at this point. Might want to take out Combat Thresher, could take out Dissidents. We have options. And then let's tap these, I think. Play Surge Hacker. Take out Thresher. And then I can either draw with a Bankbuster. I guess I can play Mech and still draw with a Bankbuster thanks to Prototype. Although then I wouldn't be attacking with my Surge Engines, which might be better. Start applying a bit more pressure. And then still draw with Bankbuster. I think that's fine. Opponent's got in Architect, so that can maybe give their creatures flying. And plus one counters on Thresher. So can we present lethal here? Can probably get pretty close. Another prototype. So let's say I play a mobilizer mech. I can crew it using a search engine, which will then also turn on search hacker mech. I can level up my search engines, both to five power if I'd like. I can draw with a bankbuster making a pilot token. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, let's say we draw with Bangbuster. Get our pilot, find hearse. Play Mobilizer mech. And then I can still level up Surge Engine once here. Crew our Mobilizer. Turn on Surge Hacker. And then we can still crew Surge Hacker using Pilot and Mobilizer. And attack. So we're attacking for lethal. Opponent's gonna have to block Surge Hacker. And our opponent just takes it instead. Okay, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand is probably good enough to keep. Prototype will help us ramp towards Mightstone ahead of schedule. And we're up against a green deck. Mono green so far, Kami. Can eventually exile it with Hearse so it doesn't come back. And then for now, can play Prototype into a two drop and I can make it a surge engine if I'd like a roaring earth counter on Kami and probably a land to make it a 4-4 okay so we cannot block with our engine now surge hacker doesn't deal quite enough damage Sad we didn't uh, play a vehicle last turn. So what are the options? I guess just double vehicle here. And then I'll still be able to level up my surge engine. 
and I'll do it now so I don't forget. Okay. And then next turn, Surge Hanker can deal 6 damage, should be enough to kill Kami. Opponent will make it a 5-5. Five five. And no land this turn at least. And then they can pay the 1 here, so we don't have to fear a protection spell. Alright, I don't think I have the mana to play both Might Stone and Search Hacker afterwards, since we only have three lands. But uh, maybe Might Stone into a Bank Buster is the way to go here. And then I'll leave the Unlicensed Hearse available so it can exile the Kami. Another Roaring Earth. Now our Surge Anchor deals 8 damage, so it should still be enough to kill the Boundless Vigor. Although we are taking quite the beating here. Down to 7. And now our opponent does potentially have the mana to play something like a Taimyo Safekeeping. So let's see if that's the case. Alright, that worked. So we'll draw with the Bank Buster, I think. See what we pick up. And then I can still crew Mobilizer mech. And turn on Hearse, even if it's just a 1-1. One -one, still deals a little bit of extra damage. Could have also kept it untapped to exile the Shrine instead. Generous Visitor. Into a fight rigging, okay. It's gonna be a while before opponent gets to 7 power to enable it. And we've got another answer at the ready. Another mobilizer. Yeah, let's kill the visitor just to be safe. And then I want to draw with the Bank Buster still. And then now maybe Crew Mobilizer Mech. Turn on Search Hacker, hit for 8. Play another Mobilizer. And then uh, Hearse can exile the opponent's graveyard. And then we should be presenting 8 damage next turn, and our opponent concedes, so yeah, we had just enough removal here to keep up. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and yeah, this hand has all the tools we want, really. Ideally, find something cheaper to play, and then a fourth land for Search Hacker, and then Hercule will find replacement artifacts to keep the fun going. Well, let's see what we're up against. Turn 1 Island. And Network Disruptor. So maybe a Ninja deck. Okay, Artificer was good. Opponent has their own. And I could already play a Surge Hacker. Although I kind of want to get Hercule going first. And opponent's got ninjutsu for a technician, which can put an artifact in play for free now. And it's going to be a reality chip. Can eventually take that out with a hacker. Okay. Prototype I could still play first if I'd like. And take out a network disruptor. 
does mean our opponent gets to hit us with the Technician. But I might have more mana for next turn, maybe play a Mightstone. It's gonna be a Reality Heist, that's a good one. Look at the top seven to reveal two artifacts. A card we could be considering as well for our deck. Finds Automaton and Bankbuster. And they can put one in play for free here. Starting with a Bankbuster. So if I play Mightstone and Weakstone, that's basically it for now. But uh, we can take out a creature with it, or we can just play another Surge Hacker. And then leave Hercule back on defense. I think I like that more. And kill... Probably a reality chip over Technician now. And pass. Hercule finds lots of goodies. Surge Engine could be an eventual win condition, way to crew our vehicles. Tazeret can now draw with the Bankbuster for free using the two mana discount. So it's the battle of the mono blue artifact decks, but they're still clearly very different. No Tazeret would be pretty decent in our deck too, giving our surge engine a discount, so it's easier to activate. So now Mightstone and Weakstone can kill Automaton and pay for it. And then we can start pressuring Tazeret. Uh, is that the move? Or we can just crew a uh, Surge Hacker and kill Tazeret guaranteed. That's probably better. So let's say we play a Surge Engine. And then I can crew. And then... I could still play another Surge Hacker as well. So yeah, we have to be a bit careful with how we tap our mana, but this should work. Kill Technician. And attack Tazeret. And Hercule finds maybe a Mobilizer mech, making it easier to turn on Surge Hacker, as well as being another way to draw with Hercule. Bones got their own prototype, growing Automaton. And Artificer. But yeah, it's still within range of our Mightstone, which can pay for the Ward 2. So that will line up nicely. Bone finds another Automaton and Bankbuster. But yeah, our deck has the advantage of having more removal built in with a Surge Hacker and Mightstone. And our opponent hangs back. So play this. Take out Automaton. And animates Surge Hacker. Hit for five. Find another Surge Engine. And now we're off to the races, really. Bangbuster number two. If our opponent's not careful, we can attack for 15 next turn. Although it's going to require us to enable both Surge Hackers and attack with a 5-powered Surge Engine, most likely. So our opponent's going to hang back. So we have a lot of options now. Playing another Surge Engine seems decent. 
Can play Mobilizer mech. Or we can Surge Hacker, kill another Automaton before it gets too large. And our opponent has seen enough. Quadruple Surge Hacker onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems promising. Prototype into Mech. Play Hercule. A ramp into our Might Student Weakstone. Now maybe a turn 3 Surge Hacker also an option. And can already deal... For damage, thanks to Mobilizer. Opponent's Black Whites, Engineer to make mana. And Energy Refractor. Okay. So, opponent also some sort of artifact deck. Yeah, let's play Hercule, hope it survives. No need to tap Prototype. We get to untap, backup Hercule could come in handy. And then I think I just go for Mightstone to develop my mana, and then I can still play Surge Engine afterwards. And that can also crew the Mobilizer mech. So great turn. Hit for three. And then find another Mightstone, Surge Engine. Don't know if we need unlicensed hearse in this matchup. So, yeah, let's go for another Surge Engine, since the Surge Hacker will enable Hercule next turn already. And we might want the extra threat. Circuit Mender, gain two. And a good thing about our deck is that we can kill the opponent without destroying the Engineer and giving the opponent an extra Power Stone token, as so many of our threats are unblockable, have Flying or have Menace. So, this turn, Surge Hacker can take out Circuit Mender if we'd like to keep the cards flowing with Hercule. And then... And then we can still play Surge Engine. And let's see here, I guess I don't need Surge Hacker this turn. And we can level up both Surge Engines. And then maybe it is still worth it to attack into the Engineer with Hercule to deal some extra damage going forward. Opponent takes it, falls to 11. And Hercule finds maybe a Bank Buster. Could have also gotten Prototype to use its channel ability to get something out of the way. Static Nuts gets rid of Hercule, but we've got a backup. And yeah, can we kill our opponent here? If I play another Surge Engine to Crew Mobilizer mech, that turns on Surge Hacker, and that's 8 plus 6. Yeah, that's 14 unblockable without doing anything else. But we could activate our two other search engines too here, if we'd like. So that's 18 damage that the opponent cannot block. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got a keeper. Prototype into Bank Buster, can set up a turn 3 search hacker. Facing a black sacrifice deck with Dockside Chef. So we'll see if Hercule can stick around to provide extra cards. But I'm not counting on it. So we'll probably need the Bank Buster for card draw instead. Infiltrator can slowly pick up plus one counters. And take three. So yeah, if I play Hercule here, I'm not going to get any immediate value. 
So I might prefer taking a different approach. Don't know if there's anything in play I necessarily want to kill with a mech. Especially when the opponent can sacrifice chef in response. So I think going artificer and then draw with a bankbuster might be better. And then we'll have more mana to potentially play Hercule and another non-creature spell on the same turn. Opponent's got the Infernal Grasp, but we can draw on the way out. So glad we didn't commit Hercule here. Find another Artificer, so next turn I could make the same play. Or I could go Hercule plus draw with Bankbuster. Of course, if our opponent presents a juicy target for mech to take out, I'll be all for that as well. Terra Sunder, exiles our vehicle. So now mech only deals 2 damage. And our opponent still has 2 mana to activate the Dockside Chef. They're considering maybe sacrificing Infiltrator here. But they don't. So, yeah, given that they still have mana available, maybe we want to go Hercule plus Artificer. Hope they don't kill Hercule, but if they do, so be it. Because uh, it's going to be difficult to play Hercule and Search Hacker in the same turn in the near future. So sure, we'll try it out. Hercule does not trigger off playing Automated Artificer, unfortunately. So we won't be getting any extra cards, assuming Hercule survives. Opponent does now activate the Chef, sacrificing itself to draw. So if this stays a 3-2, we can still take it out with our mech. And a ghoulish procession to make decayed zombies. That's fine. Good synergy with Infiltrator and Dockside Chef as well. And the Reliquary can also draw, since they control an enchantment now. So the Infiltrator could grow up to a 4-3 if our opponent wants it to. And that's what he'll do. Okay, so out of range from our Surge Hacker. Could use a cheap vehicle to still take it out. Unlicensed hearse will do just fine. So now we can play both and uh, I could keep the uh, hearse untapped. That way I can still exile stuff from the opponent's graveyard. And keep Hercule on defense, I think. Finding lots of goodies. Surge Engine versus Bankbuster is the choice. Maybe prefer Bankbuster since that will draw more cards and make our Surge Hacker even better here. And our opponent may not present something I want to kill with mech, but at least Bankbuster also enables Hercule to find more action. Second procession. And end of turn, we'll go to town on the opponent's graveyard. Creature is probably the most likely card for them to get back. And yeah, Bankbuster. Activate to draw, and our opponent throws in the towel. Also add our hangar to potentially animate some of our vehicles. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems fine. Turn 1 prototype, turn 2 can uh, play a bankbuster or maybe a surge engine first. Opponent on the red aggro with a rampant battery. So if we play surge engine and it survives, then the turn after I can play bankbuster and draw with it. Although I guess bankbuster into surge engine would still work. Second battery, opponent passes, and Artificer is a draw. Artificer could be even better, although Bankbuster into Surge Hacker could also be a sequence if our opponent plays a scary 3-drop, like maybe the Werewolf. So that might still work out slightly better, since then we'll have two vehicles to deal 4 damage, even though the Artificer would stop maybe the battery from hitting us. 
And then next turn, I can maybe play Artificer plus draw with a Bankbuster. If we don't need to play our Surge Hacker. Could also double up on Surge Engine as our opponent triples down on a Rabbit Battery. Okay, so got a couple options. Could also go Artificer plus Surge Engine here. And then if they try and kill my Surge Engine, I can still crew Bankbuster at least, depending on if they kill it now or in their turn. If they kill it end of turn with a Play with Fire, then I guess I won't have the Bankbuster as a blocker available. So maybe then I'm still better off drawing with Bankbuster instead. Yeah, I guess I can buy that. If our opponent was tapped out, going for Surge Engine would have been a little bit safer. And there's a Mechanized Warfare. Okay, that's a problem. So now Battery deals plus one damage. Can still block it with Artificer at least. So I don't know if they'll necessarily attack. So do we play a Surge Hacker? I think so. I'll still be able to draw with Bankbuster if I'd like. And then we might be able to play Surge Engine and get it up to a 5-4 right away, so we don't expose it to a cheaper burn spell. Okay, double warfare, so battery now deals 3 damage. Still happy to trade for it. And draw on the way out. And there's Hercule. Now the main concern is if our opponent has a bunch of burn spells to finish us off, although I'm not sure we can do much about it. So... Let's play Hercule, and then I can still activate Bankbuster to make a pilot token. And then I'll still be able to play a Surge Engine if I'd like. Or I could play Bankbuster to enable Hercule, which we haven't done yet this turn. So that way... We get to keep the cards flowing, and I can crew the Bankbuster using the pilot. So I'll pass it back. Hercule finds Prototype could also target the Warfare. I think I'll go for the Prototype. And then try and kill the opponent as quickly as possible before they find a critical mass of burn spells. It's going to be a Patchwork Automaton for now. And a Voltage Surge can kill Hercule without sacrificing anything. But we still have our Bank Buster to block Battery. And I'm fine if they reconfigure onto Automaton. Opponent is down to one card in hand, so less afraid of getting burnt out now. And our opponent passes since we have the Bank Buster on defense. Slightly regretting not grabbing another Surge Hacker now, but that's okay. So, yeah, double Surge Engine. Can still draw with a bank buster. Don't know if we're in the position to necessarily attack yet. Can I play a Celestus too? That can maybe gain some more life back. Sure. And then let's say we tap the bank buster to play it. And then we can level up one of the Surge Engines. And can also crew Bankbuster, which then crews Surge Hacker. Okay, opponent's got a Phyrexian Dragon Engine. That's pretty scary, especially with Double Warfare out. And they're going to give it haste. Makes sense. So with... Double Strike, it will be able to kill even a Surge Hacker if I try and block it. Could of course try and double block it, which may be the move. So let's say we crew Bankbuster with Pilot Token. 
and then crew search hacker. Sir point lots damage champion. And they don't necessarily have the lands yet to unearth Dragon Engine, but there we go. Okay, so next turn that's going to happen, and opponent's going to get to refuel. And make sure to level up our Surge Engine here. And now we can maybe hang on to Prototype, or we can chum block with our Pilot Token if we'd like instead. And then if I pass a turn, it switches to Knights, and Celestis gets to draw, and can draw with the Bank Buster as well. And another search hacker will certainly come in handy. So if our opponent unearths, hopefully they drew a spell that they won't be able to cast here. Opponent just sends the dragon engine. I think I would rather jump with a pilot so I can sink my mana into a leveling up surge engine and drawing with a bank buster. Maybe draw first and see what's up. Soaring city. So, yeah, let's just jump with a pilot. Can tap it on the way out. Make an extra mana. And then level up our surge engine. And then I could still channel Soaring City to bounce uh, Warfare to set the opponent back on tempo a little bit. Alright, Mightstone and Weakstone answers Automaton. So, gonna try and turn the corner as quickly as possible here. And then we can still play a Surge Hacker to kill Battery. And hit them for 5. And it's probably better to keep Surge Engine as another way to crew, although we always have the hangers as well. But uh, yeah, I'll get rid of the prototype. Points at 15. I've got a lot of power if we consider our vehicles. So our opponent might have to kill Surge Engine if they have a burn spell. It's going to be a Synthesizer. You can always use the 6 man ability to draw 3 as well. And our opponent can play a second Warfare out. Okay, so they're tapped out at least. And there's a mobilizer mech, also helpful in crewing our vehicles. So what's the move here? We have 7, 8, 9, 10 mana available, 11 with prototype. So we can certainly do some damage. Let's say we play Surge Engine. That could also crew mech, which then crews another vehicle. Play Surge Engine. Play Mobilizer. So yeah, let's say we crew, animate search hacker. Then I can still turn on the bank buster that's depleted. And then we can still draw with the author bank buster. That seems fine. I don't think I'm in danger of dying next turn with her opponent only having two cards in hand, but it's not impossible. Could also just draw with a search engine. Maybe that's better at this point than just drawing with a bank buster. Although this applies a bit more pressure. 10, 14. Could have also animated Mishra's Foundry by uh, using prototype tapping mobilizer mech, I guess. 
and then we would have presented lethal forcing the opponent to trade for automaton. Now I'm still keeping Mishra's Foundry on defense. Opponent's at one, so yeah, it's gonna happen this turn. Kumano's three damage, so that adds up. Opponent cranking synthesizers, good news, because that means they uh, don't have lethal in hand already. Apprentice is fine. Grows automaton. So that's five damage. So I guess if they had a lightning strike, they could technically present lethal. Ronin's also four damage and grows automaton. So I think our opponent had lethal here if it weren't for Mishra's foundry back on defense. So very close game against the red artifact deck. But now we should have more than enough. Can crew turn on search hacker and attack. All right, so yeah, we got to see our mono blue Hercule artifact deck in action. And while definitely not a competitive deck, it's a ton of fun to see all these artifact synergies in action and uh, certainly got to draw a ton of extra cards of Hercule. So this seems like the perfect home for it. Surge Engine also made for a great win condition, even though we never got to activate the six man ability in grindier games, it could certainly come up. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.